Freshwater angelfish are one of the most common and popular aquarium fish in the hobby. You only have to look at them to see why. These beautiful fish for freshwater aquariums have a distinctive body shape and fantastic colors and markings. Many fish keepers will be surprised to know that there is a wide variety of different types of angelfish with unique patterns and colors available. And that's just what this video is about. Watch the entire video to learn about 15 different types of these angelic tropical fish and get some great advice on caring for them. But before going to our list, let's know more about angelfish. The angelfish is a freshwater fish of the Cichlid family. There are two types of angelfish, freshwater and saltwater angelfish. These are hardy tropical fish that can live as long as a decade in a well-maintained fish tank. These fish have been captive bred in the aquarium hobby for generations and are available in various breeds today. Angelfish are popular among fish keepers because of their unique arrowhead bodies with beautiful flowing fins. Although angelfish are usually peaceful, the fish are known to prey upon small fish and fight amongst fish of their type, especially during breeding season. So now, let's move to our list of angelfish types you can keep in your reef tanks. For each type, I'll be providing some important information like, you will know their species, their size when fully grown, how do they look, and what makes them unique. So let's get started. The fish type in our first position is Altum angelfish. The Altum angelfish is a majestic species which requires a taller than average aquarium due to its potential adult height and long trailing finnage. The Altum angelfish is a relatively rare species that is larger and deeper shaped than the more common aquarium varieties. They are also known as the Orinoco angelfish after one of the South American rivers where they are found. These angelic fish look amazing and usually have silver coloration with only three stripes. They are an excellent choice for more experienced fish keepers because they are a challenging but rewarding species to keep. Now, let's move to our next type of fish which is koi angelfish. The koi angelfish is one of the most popular types of angelfish and it is easy to see why. Each koi angelfish is unique, which makes them highly sought after and often more expensive. This variant typically has three colors like the Asian koi carp. These colors are white, black, and golden orange. Koi angelfish are eye-catching fish that make a great centerpiece in community aquariums. After koi angelfish, now let's move to panda angelfish. The panda angels have a mix of black and white coloration. There is no particular pattern to these, so everyone is unique. The panda angelfish is a bold variant of the popular angelfish. These black and white angelfish have various markings, making each unique. The panda koi angelfish will reach about 6 inches long or more extensive upon adulthood and should be kept in a tall tank. They thrive in water with pH levels between 6.5 to 6.9 and temperatures around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. After panda angelfish, now let's learn about albino dantum angelfish. The albino angelfish is a strain of angelfish that is white to silver in color with yellow or orange coloration across the head and has pink eyes. These are another fantastic angelfish breed. The exact species of the breed is unknown, and they might even be a hybrid between two different species. Now let's learn about our next type of angelfish, which is fluorescent angelfish. The fluorescent angelfish is a genetically modified breed. These fish are scarce and were first developed by researchers in Taiwan. The fluorescent medaka has been authorized for sale in Taiwan as an aquarium fish since 2003. One thing is sure, these pink angels are the most colorful angelfish breed in the hobby. Now let's learn about chocolate angelfish. Chocolate angelfish have a dark pigmentation that usually begins just behind the gills and covers most of the body. Their heads are typically silvery gray in color. This bold breed often has gray patches on the dark chocolate-colored sides of the body. Chocolate angels are best type of angelfish to keep in your fish tank. After chocolate angelfish, now let's learn about platinum angelfish. The platinum variety is white in color with tins of blue or green. These fish are diamond-shaped, have a round, laterally compressed body, triangular dorsal and anal fins, and can reach 6 and 8 inches long. 
The Platinum Angelfish is a dazzling breed with all-white coloration. Platinum Angelfish stand out in a tank with good lighting and a dark background. After Platinum Angelfish, now let's learn about Leopard Angelfish. The Leopard Angelfish is a breed that has variable markings. The spotted coloration of the Leopard Angelfish is most apparent when the fish are young and reared in good lighting. The markings often merge into a solid dark color as the fish mature. After Leopard Angelfish, now let's learn about Veiltail Angelfish. Veiltail or Veil Angelfish are bred for their excellent flowing fins. These angelic fish come in a variety of different colors and patterns. They are a little clumsier than regular fin breeds, so they do better in tanks with a slow water flow. They should also not be housed with tank mates who might want to nip at their incredible finnage. After Veiltail Angelfish, now let's learn about Ghost Angelfish. Ghost Angelfish are angelfish that have a stripeless gene and therefore are without their fanciful marking. Ghost Angelfish can be light or dark colored, and they tend to be more energetic and aggressive than many of the others. In some cases, the ghost angelfish can begin to show stripes as it gets older. Ghost angelfish have genetics that prevents them from developing typical angelfish's bold stripes. They usually have a silver body, but darker variants like the black ghost are also available. Now let's learn about gold angelfish. Gold angelfish have a solid pale golden color over their entire body. This breed has been in the aquarium trade since the 1960s when they were first accidentally bred. Gold angelfish show the most color towards the top of the head and have no black coloration. After gold angelfish, now let's learn about albino angelfish. These angel is a strain of angelfish that is white to silver in color with yellow or orange coloration across the head and has pink eyes. It prefers a well-planted tank of at least 30 gallons with soft, slightly acidic water. Rocks and driftwood can be added to the aquarium, but leave plenty of space for swimming. These angelfish have no pigment and therefore have a whitish-pink overall coloration and distinctive pink or red eyes. Black angelfish is the next type on our angelfish types list. Black angelfish are almost entirely black and usually do not have any white pigmentation. This dramatic-looking breed typically has red eyes, which stand out against their dark body color. The black angelfish will thrive in a heavily planted aquarium with driftwood or rock formations and gentle water flow. After black angelfish, now let's know about blue angelfish. The blue angelfish is a beautiful breed with a powdery blue tint to its silvery body. The vertical black bars may be fainter in fish with the blue gene than in other breeds but will usually still be visible. After blue angelfish, now let's talk about red cap angelfish. The red cap angelfish is a distinctive breed with a white body and orange cap. The orange coloration extends roughly from the fish's mouth to the start of the dorsal fin. These angelfish is a cool and beautiful fish to have around in an aquarium. They are not aggressive and usually would chill around upper level of your tank. So, these are 15 types of angelfish that you can keep in your tanks. With so many different types of angelfish available in the hobby, there's an angelfish out there to suit just about any tank. Which is your favorite type of angelfish? Let me know below in the comment. And if you want to know more about all these types of angelfish, then you can visit our official blog where we covered all these types of fish in detail. So I hope this video helped you a lot. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, where we discuss all the aquarium related topics and help you guys to thrive in the aquarium hobby. Thanks for watching this video, and if you want to add freshwater fish to your 10-gallon tank, you can watch the video popping on your screen.